Hey guys, so this will likely need to be a two-part video, so make sure to follow my page if you haven't already so you can uh, find this. This will be on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube as well. So for the septile, the septile is our first minor aspect, which is the winner. Um, the septile is 51 degrees and 25 minutes, and it happens after the octile, which is 45 degrees. It's more commonly referred to as the semi-square, and it happens before the sextile. And this is such an important part of the journey. So before I even mention septile. First, let's rewind back to the semi-square, aka the octile. The semi-square is 45 degrees, therefore it's half of the square, 90 degrees. The first quarter square that we're going to experience is going to challenge us. It's going to put us in a position where we're going to have to face our fear. And of course, oftentimes, you know, since it's analogous to the cancer archetype, it's like leaving our comfort zone and it's leaving the metaphorical homestead, uh, you know, and going out into the unknown. So what happens here when we face this semi-square, aka the octile, 45 degrees, is we get information all of a sudden. We know that the square is going to change challenge us, but the 45 degree angle is where we essentially find out some of the information of how we have to challenge ourselves in preparation for that. The information we need in order to start narrowing down what we're doing, where we have to narrow down what we're doing or specify it, it's going to make things more challenging and it will be less free. And so that's a very difficult thing to feel. And then, you know, as we move into the septile, 51 degrees, there's often a faded event. Some, some, you know, usually it's a benefic event or at least, at the very least, it feels very benefic in its nature. With the septile, this will be a person or this will be a situation that presents itself and it clearly is by the hand of destiny. There will be clear synchronicities that happen all around it. And as it appears in your life, you have to use your intuition or in order to determine it. It won't just be your human logic or human resources of mind that you need in order to decide here. And so the failure to listen to your intuition can make the septile a very dangerous place or using your intuition can make it an incredibly beneficial place. And so with the septile, um, this can manifest as a person who is going to, you know, hold your hand before you get to that first quarter square, and they're going to keep you in your comfort zone. And then you'll reach the sextile, 60 degrees after septile. And when you reach, this, reach the sextile, that's the point at which you then are comfort and you're kind of going along with things and you don't worry too much about what's going to happen. And so you're not prepared for the first quarter square that's going to happen. If we face this situation or this person that comes into our life and they, they try and comfort us or the situation, you know, sort of lures us in a way, it seems like such a good opportunity. And then we hit the sextile and then we realize that we're just kind of coasting along waiting for the day that the first quarter square is going to happen and we hit that 90 degrees and everything's going to be thrown upside down and we haven't actually prepared ourselves because we've allowed ourselves to utilize this external energy um, you know and and we we got lost or of course we have to we can't let sa self sabotage get in the way of actually taking a good opportunity so if your intuition says this is excellent go for it maybe this will be something that we can help with but as we approach the sextile we had better be you know really focused on uh, each and every single day really sticking to what it is that we want to change what it is we want to adjust and the way that we want to grow um, because that way when we hit that first quarter square we're ready to go we're ready to face this first challenge and face our fear so with the septile the way that this manifested in my natal chart for example in my natal chart i've got saturn and capricorn and it's septile my scorpio midheaven and so in my life i have never received you know a full uh, scholarship ride in you know a college for example but i've received a lot of opportunities that were almost exactly like that so in Scorpio Midheaven, you know, of course, I've got this goal to not only make a living out of, um, you know, what some people might call spiritualism or the occult, but specifically with the psychoanalytical nature of Scorpio, my deep and sincere desire is to, is to sort of address the way that people think about spirituality, the way that people think about tarot and astrology and intuition and what they represent and how they can be applied within our life. And so with Saturn septiling the Scorpio Midheaven, the problem that's come up is I've had these Capricornian figures enter my life. They just sort of, you know, just approached. And, uh, you know, the, the difficult thing is, you know, they make this offer. They make a deal. They want to make a deal at least. 
And they say that as long as I'm willing to budge on my truth and on sort of my, what you might say is like the, the righteous rebellion of, of stepping outside of the established and the classic order so that I can address things in an authentic way, Capricorn says, if you're willing to budge on your authenticity, I can give you a full ride. You know, I can make sure that you make it to the end of where you're trying to go. Sure, you're going to have to, you know, bend a little bit on your morals, but, you know, as long as you're willing to do that, then, you know, I'll get you to where you want to go. And so I've had to turn that down time and time again until I finally learned that lesson. When you have a septile in your natal chart, when you have a transiting septile, the thing to pay attention to is what exactly is being offered here. What's, what's being brought by the universe? Is the universe simply blessing you and it's just positive? Or is the universe essentially presenting to you what looks to be like the perfect opportunity so that you can find within yourself what you know that you're going to have to find eventually, character, when you hit that first quarter square. You're going to build your character in this way. And when that septile comes, are you going to just sort of accept what comes in and it's all good? Uh, or are you going to let yourself listen to your intuition? Because if your intuition says that you know somewhere deep down that this, you know, character, and in my particular case, in my natal chart, it was a Capricornian character um, that tends to be presented or tends to show up, uh, that as this character presents, are you going to turn the situation down or say no to a situation that you know deep down is more leading you into being controlled than it is to be in control of your own life? Um, a situation that, yes, it's structured and it's safe, and you can put timelines on everything, but the price tag is going to be your truth or your honesty. So the septile is not necessarily a test. It's not that the universe is meaning it for it to be a test, but the universe definitely presents it, and the, the reason we have to use our intuition is because if we reach that septile and we're trying to logic and rationalize our way through each and every experience that we go through in our sort of self-actualization, um, we're going to run into some serious problems, and this is a classic example of that. If we reach the septile and it's a good opportunity, then when we reach the, sep the sextile, this is the point at which hopefully we have consistency, we're moving forward, and we're getting ready for the quintile, we're getting ready for the square. So as far as what to do when you have a septile in your chart, start to evaluate what moments in your life have you seen this septile triggered and what have you done as a response to it have you immediately shut down good opportunities have you stayed way too long in bad opportunities um, have you allowed yourself to be manipulated by a situation because it seemed too good to be true so that is sort of the analysis that we want to look at with the septile and it's so important to get to the bottom of that because it will really help you in your astrological practice so thank you guys for tuning in to this first not so minor aspect series video and uh, if you haven't already make sure to go to jacksalanis.com if you guys want to take my astrologer rising course this is a 16-week course on becoming an astrologer where we talk about all these aspects